What's up, YouTube? We have uh, the Fusion One Infusion 180 uh, right here in front of us right now. Um, it has all the upgrades uh, from Raycon, and somehow it, they no longer say Raycon on the parts; they say LMA. Anyways, uh, these parts are made very well. I mean, they they look good. I mean, they they've I don't know. It makes it look better. It's very you know, and also, um, another thing that I had to do is, uh, if you see inside my motor, the way that they, uh, since with the original frame, since there's very, t uh, tighter, there's tighter spaces and the way that they wound the, uh, the tail boom, um, uh, brush, a uh, tail motor, uh, wires it. So they end up wrapping them right, uh, on the tail frame on the tail support and they wrap it in, in a in like because they're so long so that they have to compensate for that length and then they bring it towards behind the uh, your right uh, front servo and uh, that's how they connect them to the ESC but because of that uh, when removing these tail booms on the uh, infusion man it's so tight and when you finally break it loose you got some speed going up uh, um, some speed building up on the way out and boom you rip these uh, wires you know out of the motor and you know it leads to you know damaging the motor and you have to buy a new one so I just ended up you know I do know how to wrap rewind motors and hopefully I can make a video soon but if you see my wires are, are uh, red and you guys are gonna be like that uh, copper color so yeah and I also kind of stripped the back mount of the motor to silver just redid the whole thing and it works fine. You gotta use the same diameter wire and just uh, remain with the same wounds and, and use the same uh, winding um, format that it had. There's delta. There's there's so many different uh, winding uh, ways you can wind the brushless motor. So, anyways, that was that, and that kind of sucked. Now, another thing that I, I've done to this that uh, I didn't really like about this helicopter was aesthetically. I don't like how they made the tail boom so skinny. Uh, if you notice on mine, my tail boom is much thicker and wider, and it's flush actually with the uh, the uh, tail boom uh, uh, mount and the support. So, and that's because I, well, I what I did was uh, I got a uh, tail boom from my uh, Fusion One Eighty. And I all I did uh, was ha I put some uh, heat shrink on the original one, the fiberglass or carbon fiber that comes with the uh, Infusion 180 stock. And I slipped this one on and epoxied it. I mean, it also helps with uh, chips and cracks. And, and if you ever have like a, a hard crash and the blade, you know, strikes your boom, you know, because of the carbon fiber, now it won't dent the aluminum because it, it doesn't really, the carbon fiber doesn't dent. And then now because of the aluminum, the carbon fiber won't crack. So... The only place you'd ever break it would be here and back here but that hasn't been the case for me the tail fin always goes anyways and absorbs the impact and I'd say I have a really strong boom I probably won't ever break um, yeah so the quality of uh, Raycon their parts are it's good it's nice they do they went with a more of a matte uh, finish then a uh, polished finish like uh, micro heli i love micro heli but micro heli uh, i have seen some of their parts you know the the way they're machined well that was then i'm not sure about now but i would buy some parts with the fusion 180 and the uh, lower uh, frame um would uh either some of the screws uh wouldn't be tapped in all the way and the hole would be like halfway and and my screws would be sticking out and wouldn't really clamp anything i'd have to install washers or something like that to compensate for that um and I, i've noticed their aluminum the material they're using it just strips so easy um yeah so i've rerouted my wires um just made it a little neater and then another thing i kind of want to point out is most of you have had the issue where this head block teeters on top of the uh, the main shaft and that's because it's not because of the head block it's because of the main shaft the main shaft is not 
protruding or going deep enough into the uh, it's too short uh, into the uh, head block itself and because of that it just teeters on top of the head uh, the main shaft if they had had they made that main shaft you know a little longer at the top it should have it would have been fine but my fix was instead of buying a whole entire main head because I, I really don't like using an aluminum head because it's just more, that much more expensive in a crash um, I just tighten I over tighten that uh, that main head bolt and it just manipulated the plastic enough to that it wouldn't um, teeter anymore and the vibrations were gone after that it doesn't teeter at all or have any any loose looseness the looseness is gone that's for sure there it is oh and I ended up using the servo horns from the fusion 180 I just I don't like those white ones they look kind of ugly to me they're too bulky and they just look cheaper these look more uh, you know hidden away um, one more thing I did to this is a tail fin uh, the tail fin I, I, I replaced it uh, it's gonna be a little ironic I mean I replaced it for the one um, I'm using the ones from my uh, OMP M2 I have an OMP M2 that I just well I had it I sold it to get this uh, most of you are gonna say why I mean the OMP M2 was awesome and honestly it, you get more for your money than you do with this one um, the Infusion 180 flies a little heavier it, it just feels like it's you know planted in the air because it's the extra weight you know the, the it weighs almost the same as the uh, or probably a little more or less or the same as the uh, M2 um, they fly different uh, I mean I couldn't really I don't fly Smack 3D so to me honestly it, it, they kind of felt the same and then when I put all the upgrades and kind of got this one dialed in uh, they flew kind of the same everything was the same to me I didn't I couldn't really notice at least maybe one of you three Smack 3D pilots will you know have your opinion on it but that was my opinion uh, one thing was that the uh, pitch on the other uh, tail blade that's provided with the Infusion 180 was too uh, the pitch wasn't so aggressive so it would spool up so much and it would make such loud tail noise so I just put one of the in, the M2's and tail blade it's more aggressive of a pitch it, it slaps right on bolts right up and uh, it's much quieter and the authority is much better I mean this is here you go man well this is the uh, Infusion 180 and see you guys later man hope you guys enjoy the video Oh, one more thing. I got my landing gear and I widened it. Because it's too damn narrow from factory. I just kind of did this. And with my fingers widened it more.